Hi everybody, my name's Claire, welcome back. I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a long canvas, quite a small canvas, but a long canvas. Um, I'm going to do it horizontally. I'm gonna put the design colors through the middle horizontally and then blow out the, the design, either with a hairdryer or with my breath. Um, and But I think I'm going to blow it out so that all the design goes over the edges. So it's gonna have a central line through the center, but then the design and all the colors are really stretched beautifully over the edge. Um, colors are amazing. So let me show you. The canvas I'm using is 20 by 50 centimetres. I'm just deciding what colour to use as the base. So the colours I've got, I've got silver, I've got some purple, I've got greenish blue, Prussian blue. I think I'm going to leave the Prussian blue out. Um, iridescent green, yellow, white and the iridescent green, blue by Pebio. So a really beautiful range of colours. Um, just wondering about putting down a silver base and using these colours for the design. I think that might be what I'd like to do. I'd quite like to use this colour as a base, but I think it's just going to come out so dark, you're not going to get the benefit of the actual colour. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to go with silver. Let's put the silver down for a base. Let's hope I've got enough here. I'm going to put the design colours horizontally along the centre. I still have not decided what type of Dutch pour this is going to be, whether to use my hairdryer or blow this out by my with my breath. I still have not decided um, what I'm going to do. OK, so let's just put... And also, shall I do a wiggly line or a straight line? There's so many options. It's so nice sometimes not to have a commission, just to have a painting where... It, I, I have no idea really what's going to happen. I'm just going to go with it and it, what will be, will be. I think I'm going to go with a wiggly line. Okay, it's not a very even wiggly line. Doesn't really matter. So wiggly, and now I'm going wiggly over the top of the wiggly line. Right, I've got quite a lot of paint there. So what I'm thinking I might do is use my hairdryer. And with the intention of blowing the petals off over the edge. So because I'm going to do that, I'm just... I seem to be adding more paint. Right, I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'm going to use the hair dryer. <clears throat> and just with the intention of blowing this over the edges, I think. Yeah, let's see what happens. Wow, wow, the 
colours are amazing. That was quite difficult to blow out because it's quite a small canvas. So I'm not particularly happy with my space, the spaces. But I might blow into those to actually close them up because the colours are beautiful. OK, I'm going to do a little bit of blowing around here. I might add some more colour over here. So I've just added some more colours there. Now this is going to make or break this. I absolutely love it, apart from this. So I am just, I've added some more colour. I'm going to just try and blow that over to try and get it to match the rest. Make or break. Right. I think I'm happy. I need to bring the silver back up this way because I've got these wonderful silver wiggly lines all the way through this. It's worked. I think that's blended. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just add a tiny bit more silver coming back through and then I think it will look quite blended in. Let me get you in for a close up because I am so happy with this. I can't wait to show you. It's so, so different. I have never, ever done a Dutch pull before where I have intended to close up all the petals. I have never done that. I've always had the petals totally separate and distinct. Oh, do you know, do you think that looks odd there? Oh, I'm all about balance and I've balanced that corner. Now is that corner a bit bare? Oh, no. I wish I hadn't noticed that. What I might try and do, there's quite a bit of paint here. I wonder if I can blow that over that way. No, there's not enough paint. Right, I think that does it though, because that's just got some, some of the turquoise over the top. Right, let me get you in for a close up. I know, I'm sure I've said this before, but I think this has to be one of my favourite ever colour schemes. I'm sure I say that every time I get a new colour scheme that I love. But wow, pink, turquoise, green. Oh, I love it. Composition, I'm absolutely over the moon with. You've got these really cool silver wiggly lines everywhere where I've closed the petals. Um, I really like that because it breaks it up, but it's still, um, it's still just one mass of colour. 
Um, let me show you up close. The colours have just blended beautifully and look at all that sparkle. Um, the cells are just amazing. So many beautiful cells have popped up. So for such a small painting, I think this has got a lot of detail and a lot of character. And a lot of sparkle. Love, love, love these colours. So happy. So excited. Right, I will be back when it's dry. So here's the dry result. I'm over the moon with this. I love it. Um, I think it's the, the size canvas, the shape canvas. It's just, it just works really well. It's not your typical Dutch pour. Um, as you know, I blew the edges over. I narrowed the gaps. So it's quite chaotic. It's quite full on, but that's what I love about paintings. Um, just look at the colors. Um, absolutely beautiful i love the silver base and i love the way the silver is just peeking through it looks quite stormy there doesn't it um i'm definitely going to do more with this color palette because it's just beautiful absolutely love it i love all yeah the silver because i think because the base was iridescent was metallic you get a lot of the base popping up through and i tend to find silver gives me a lot of cells anyway um, it's really shimmery. You can see all that shine We're from the metallics and the iridescent colours. And there, I think you can see it there. So it's quite unusual, but really pleased with it. Really good experiment. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye.